live. Back, bringing you the latest hip hop news and dis. Rec, what's good, man? Salute, JT. I'm good out here, Hello, man. Mates. You heard me. So today, the news was a little eh, but you know, we're going to it. We're going, to, you know, getting right to it. So still won't get to it. <laughs> first off, we got 50 Cent. He uh, he said the Golden Globes can suck his dick. You know he know he knows that he's not gonna be uh, doing his con. He's not doing. He's only doing what the contract makes him do now for promotions. And uh-huh. he, know, he says he knows his fan base. And you know he's done with it. And then he said, "I'm done." Are we with talking about power? I'm talking about power. And then I'm also saying he's done with power. He's quitting. Mm. It says Floyd Mayweather's taking over. Now, he might be trolling us just to get that hype up because power's Still coming back. The for the Floyd Mayweather season. Yeah. For, now, you know. When does power start running again? In, in February? March? Shit, nah. Power? Nah, it just ended in, um, what, September, right? Yeah, so we're far out from it, right? Yeah, power will probably come. I think it's six months, right? I told him. Yeah, remember. so I don't know why. It might, it might start running like trailers in January. Yeah. You I, know. Don't, I don't know. We'll have to see how this pans out. I don't I'll know say why. like February. Why you know, is he right. trolling so early? You know, you got to keep a buzz on things, man. You know, because yeah. shit get cold out there. Um, I guess Empire. They doing what they doing right now. Oh, and- yeah, that's what he's doing. He's just, you know, sending shots that way, basically. Saying, yeah. Saying, you know, keeping his shit hot while that shit's hot. Exactly. I don't even watch Empire, I'm going to be honest with you. Turned, yeah, I stopped watching that weird. bullshit. It was good the first season, then it turned spooky. They got just too gay. Not only that, like, with the whole... Fu- I'm not... What am I watching? A soap opera or a dope-ass fucking... Turn it into a musical. Turn it into, like, yeah. a gay musical. <laughs> exactly. I was like, yo, this is too... It's, it's, it's on some Peter Pan shit. <laughs> yeah. They should have it run every day like a soap opera, man, because that shit is getting... That shit was some here. dick in the booty shit, you know? <laughs> I mean, you know... That shit got spooky. Shit did get weird. Then, then, okay, so the next piece of news we got, Rick Ross says Kanye faked his meltdown. Now, we all know, he, okay, he got, Rick, Kanye had his meltdown. He, he accused, you know, Jay-Z of having shooters. He talking about Beyonce, you know, all that shit, right? Then he attacked his trainer, and then, you know, they said he was suffering from paranoia, okay? But he canceled the Pablo tour. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think he canceled, like, 10 dates, okay? His insurance covered $30 million, right? To refund everybody their tickets, uh, pay people, you know, that were supposed to get paid. There were a lot of contracts on the table, you know, so there's insurance mm-hmm. in place. Rick Ross is close to Kanye. So saying something like that puts him at risk for f- insurance fraud. Insurance fraud, yeah. And that's like yeah. jail time. So Rick Ross is dry snitching. It's, it's, it's a lot of money at risk. Is Rick Ross dry snitching? Hell Yeah. That's that's he. There's certain things you should just like think about before you say it, and no, like, you can say certain things like that, just in a private setting, not yeah. in a public set. Yeah, with you, cameras and yeah, like because like, that's think, something you joke with Kanye and Jay Z and Beyonce yeah. at the di- you know, the dining room table. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And TMZ picked it up. It's not like we fucking found it and exposed it. It's a story. You don't think the insurance company is going to notice that this story... Wait a minute. Let's look into this. Let's have him evaluated. You know? Yeah, hell yeah. Spooky, man. Like, come on. That, that I don't approve of that. I don't approve of that. That's they, Throwing your friend under the bus like that. Nah. But, I mean, you know... Rick Ross... He comes from those uh, backgrounds, man. You know? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know where you're going with this. <laughs> the CEO background? It gets spooky over there. Yeah, but still, you know? it's like, I'm not even saying that. It's just like, I think he just talks about certain things he, not, he shouldn't talk about sometimes. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Like, I mean, sometimes you just got to shut the fuck I mean, up, he, Ross. He did, he said something a month or two ago. Oh, no, he was talking about the Drake thing. And then nothing happened. Remember? Like he was threatening. Like he was going to get at Drake? 
he was on Drinks Champs and he was saying something about Drake, like, yo, I jump off the porch for real, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, whoa, <laughs> this isn't even your situation, man. This is between Meek and Drake and it's over. And it's over. I mean, I know that Drake was saying stuff in Philly and everything, but let Meek speak about it, you know? Yeah. You just stay out of it. You Drake Drake low key gave Ross a wave. Let's be honest. Rick Ross mm-hmm. was popping, but then he he gave him another wave when Drake jumped on that song Austin Martin yeah. music. That's sh- and then he did another song. Like he was riding that Drake wave hard, and he made yeah. a lot of money through that Drake wave. So best you just stay out. If you make millions of dollars with somebody like Drake, just stay out of it. Like. There's certain Definitely. people I would never talk about because I made a lot of money because they sponsored me or something. You know, it's like you got to respect that, man. Put money in your pocket. You paid your, paying shit for you. You know what I mean? Even though you mm-hmm. work for it, you got to respect that, you know? Definitely. What else is going on out um, here? We got, I guess, Joel Santana was issued a warrant for child support payments for 28 k And he, he responded saying... There's two sides to every story. Mm. I agree with him. A lot of guys. Begin, oh, yeah, definitely. I agree with him. Yeah, now, Especially when the child support. Yeah. Now, uh, you could talk better about this situation than me because you have children. You know what I mean? I don't yeah, have any definitely. children. So how, how does that work? Uh, you know, why? Well, a lot of times when the woman goes down to file the child support, yeah. you know, case on you or just to, you know, make a case of it. Yeah. They give you, they got to serve you papers. Yeah. So he might have got served papers, you know what I'm saying, and never went to court. Okay. And by him not going to court, mm-hmm. they automatically award her the money that she's uh, trying to see. Okay, okay. You so, understand what I'm saying? Yep. So, then, so I'm not saying that's what's going on in his case it right probably, now. I'm going to say it probably is because yeah. jo- Joel's, I've seen him with his kids Way back, his kid that they're talking about. Mm. Uh, no, wait, the same kid. He's 13 now, right? Joel's really cares about his kids. I know that. So he ain't going to yeah, let that's... his kid go without anything, okay? Uh, so, you know, it's unfortunate that this is embarrassing because, you know, I, I know that he makes money and I'm sure he takes care of his kid and it's just wrong. You know, sometimes girls get a little thirsty, man, you know? Oh, yeah. Uh, now, nah, you know what it is? That loving hip hop. Shit, fucking her You're up. right, and, and that you know, she, he, he moved on with a different girl. Yeah, he's on there with Kim Bella with the whole family thing. Yeah. You know, females be on some vindictive shit, mm. especially chicks you got kids with, you know, longer with them. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, that thing go. And I love him. You know, that love and hip hop is different, especially yeah. with chicks. They watch that. Yeah. So, her homegirls is like... Yo, yo did you hit him on? up for child support? Yeah. Yo, he's on loving hip hop. He's doing it. Yeah, like, her up, right? Yeah. You know, homegirls, her sister, family. Mm-hmm. You know how that thing go. They put that poison in, you know, the baby yeah. mom's ear. Yeah. Uh, on you know a, how that thing on go. A, on a more positive note with Joel, he just dropped a new video called Nobody's Safe. Looks dope. Oh, he dropped another video? Dropped another video called Nobody's Safe. He, it was left over, he said, from two years ago, the God Willin mixtape. And oh, he dope. That. He's working. He's working. And then, you know, Jewel's man, uh, try to get back with Wayne and give us one of them, you know, can't feel my face or something, man. I'm sure Wayne would be down. Oh, yeah. That would be dope. If, he, if he's working with two chains, I know he'll work with you. You guys have the same type of history. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So to reach out to little Wayne, man. You know, like, I know Wayne sees you out there. Yeah, make working. that happen, Jewel. I love to see you and Wayne get together and, and finally. Do a project that see the light of day. I'm, I'm. Yeah. The other project got bootlegged. A lot of the songs they did. Oh, yeah. I can't feel my face. Yeah. They got bootlegged. But I love, I love to see a new project with oh, them yeah. to come out officially. Yeah. They, you know what I'm saying? With they got to give it away as a mixtape, just to stay, you know, hot with music out here. That would be dope. Yeah. I, I love to see them come with a whole good rollout with a, a full project. Jewels and um Lil Wayne make that happen, homie. Both oh, here, of them spitters. Here comes some news from SoundCloud. SoundCloud will no longer um, remove DJ remixes for uh, copyright infringement, and that's good news because uh, SoundCloud was known where you can get the DJ mixes and everything, and you know then uh, copyright got involved, and then you couldn't get it anymore. Remember they were removing shit. SoundCloud wasn't fun anymore, so. 
Mm-hmm. I guess SoundCloud was dying and they had to, you know, fight that and l- allow yeah. DJs to come. Because D- DJs made SoundCloud, let's be honest. Okay. Mm. They struck deals with licensing groups such as Germany's Gima in order to keep mixes on the platform legally. In the past, DJs could only post mixes if they had permission. Okay. So I guess they're doing a, a sharing revenue or something of the, the material now. And, uh, they'll be able to uh, upload remixes, which is good news for music, period. Okay? Yes, sir. Um, Then, lastly, I think that's about it. I think we'll get into our, we have a guest today. We have a special guest. Special guest. Straight out of California. He's gonna chime in on, you know. The homie Eddie Means. Eddie Means is gonna chime in on like, you know, Soldier Boy and Chris Brown and the gang culture. He's He knows the gang culture very well growing up in California around the Watts area. He'll he'll clarify where he's from. Yes, sir. And everything, he'll get into that. So stay tuned. Give us 10 seconds and we're going to patch him in live. Live. And we gone. Stay tuned. We'll be live. What's good, everybody? So we got a guest today, Any Means, straight out of California. Salute. Spitting, spitting what up, bars. What up, what up? Okay, Rex up here. So this is our first guest and he's going to chime in for our next topic which is just rappers that move to LA and then get involved in the whole gang culture like it's cool, but they are playing with fire. So let's start off. Chris Brown tweeted this out, let's say about two weeks ago. He said, so many fake gang members these days. Uh, dudes get in the industry, the next thing you know, they got a blue, blue or red flag, ain't been through nothing, out of town dudes kill me with this shit. You not a blood or a crip just because you know a dude from the hood and you bought a blue or red rag from the dollar store. Stop faking, right? So then yeah. he, he goes and he says, all these dudes for the cameras, pressure turn all these dudes to pussy. Uh, this California shit real. You industry dudes ain't no threat. Da, 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 da. It's like, what is he talking about himself on his own gram? Like, what's going on here? These guys, we know he's from Virginia. Okay, you move out there, you start hanging out with Bloods, Crips. That doesn't make you a Blood or a Crip, am I right? Like, you know, it's, I mean, I mean it, it, yeah, it doesn't necessarily make, make you that unless, you know, you're initiated at some point. point. At least I would believe so. You know? Yeah, I mean, you understand that more than, you grew up in California, correct? Yeah, 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 yeah. all my life. I'm from, uh, I'm from Cudahy, California, so South LA. Yeah. I mean, it just depends on, on what they are, what their agreement is, I guess. Maybe he are. Maybe he touched down, maybe he went to the hood and got co-signed. I don't really know where his, his vibe is, but... But still, the I mean, way he's talking, you would think he grew up in Compton. No, no, yeah, I mean, it definitely sounds like he's, you know, talking like he's a replica, you know what I mean? Yeah, let's be honest, he's living in Calabasas in a nice mansion, you know. But, you know, for the sake of saying it, let, let, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he is a replica, maybe... Knocked out a couple of people at this show. Oh, I'm not saying, we're not saying Chris Brown's pussy. We know he, he, he maybe, maybe he's a drive by. We don't, we don't know. But how do you it, it feel, right, right, though. Though. how do you feel when you see like these guys like Soldier Boy and everything on the gram with the guns and, you know, they're repping blood, whatever they're repping, you know, how do you feel about that being, uh, a wa- you know, someone watching it? You know what? At first, I used to be entertained by it. At first, when I was a little bit younger and shit. But now, yeah. now that I, you know, now that I'm a little bit more mature, I think it's kind of corny a little bit. You know what I mean? Because they yeah. just giving the wrong impression to people. You feel what I'm saying? And they're influencing young mm. kids. You not, not only that, it's like young kids. So, like you pulling out K's, you saying you're gonna do this, you're gonna do that, or yeah, I'm gonna kill you. I done killed people before. It's like, well, then why are you telling motherfuckers you done killed people? Yeah. So I, I, mm-hmm. I don't really take it that serious because I know it's entertainment, but what about the people that don't realize that it's entertainment and, and they might take it serious and maybe yeah. they go through something to somebody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like I don't, I don't understand why they're flexing on the gram about that. That should, shouldn't even be talked about, you know what I mean? It's like... Well, yeah, no. you definitely don't want to tell people on IG that you shot somebody. <laughs> exactly, and you want, exactly. you want to be talking about cripping and being a blood when you're a dancer and we know you for singing. Why are you even <laughs> talking about that? It's like... <laughs> Just leave it alone, you know? Like, I don't, that's not what I'm looking nah, at Chris Brown. I mean, I don't know. Does, does, the, does, the, does the initiation stop, stop at dancers? dancers? Like, can, can dancers, dancers not, 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 can they not apply? Because, you know, there might be some <laughs> dancers. 
you know, I'm I'm just like I I like Chris Brown for his fire music and his dance moves. You know what I mean? I, I, like, I, like, I, like, I like I like Chris Brown, Chris Brown definitely, definitely for his music. music and, and yeah, I'm, I'm digging his music. Before, and there was hella bitches there. And yeah, I, I appreciated him for that because I think yeah. I smashed one of them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I'm not looking at Chris, Chris Brown to be Brown. a crip or a blood. Shout I'm not looking Brown at that because he got he bring out all the bitches, man. He mm. does. No, no. Chris Brown definitely does get all the girls. I mean, he had Karuchi. She's one of the baddest ones in the game. Like, you remember me. that chick name you smashed? Hey, oh, that Karuchi bro? Yeah, she's popping. Yo, any right. means. Yeah. You you remember that chick name you smashed at the Chris Brown event? Nah, you know what? But I remember it was it was the balance. Was it? A, I, I want to say it was like the Valentine's Day show for Power 106 in like 2012 or something. Um. Like Don't quote me on that, but I remember it for sure because. I was with this one bitch at the time, and she caught me cheating on her, and I was lying about it, but now that I'm, I'm trying to get myself popping, fuck that bitch. I was smashing that hoe. <laughs> so I hope she watching this shit, you bitch. <laughs> so Any Means is a rapper out of California, and he has a lot of good videos out there right now. Right now he has the dope head rental, fuck you pay me. We checked it out already, and yeah. we're allowing him on the show because he's official. Any means is official. We recommend you check him out. He's part of the whole Daily Hip Hop Live promo team, right? You know, he's out here. We're promoting him now. Tell mm-hmm. us a little bit about where you're from in California. Um, like I said, I'm from I'm, I'm from a city called Cudahy. It's in South LA. It's it's like a small city, but um, just like in the area, people that know the area and are like, cause it's a, the surrounding areas are like Watts on uh, Linwood, Maywood, Compton. Mm-hmm. So everybody know it's just like a, it's kind of like a dangerous city. It's really small, but it has a really bad reputation for like motherfuckers getting killed and shit like that. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been to Watts yeah, with uh, J Rock yeah. before and glasses. You know, it's yeah. I, I uh, so I come from there, but as far as like just rapping, like I started out with Gorilla Black when he was doing the Dollar Figure essay group. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I was part of that. There was about like seven of us, and uh, I ran around with Black and Hot Dollars for like maybe three years. Okay. Maybe even a little bit more, and then uh, we we all separated. He ended up going to jail eventually, and then uh, yeah, I started doing like my my just like you know learning the game because when I was with Hot Dollar and Gorilla Black, like they was have you know they were still pretty on. So Gorilla Black had that big single. He did, everyone came out and he sounded like Big. Remember that was around that yeah, time. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. He he sold a gold album, so you know he was a gold selling artist. So yeah, he did go gold. You know what I mean? So we, we had access to a lot of the big shit, so I was able to see a lot of the industry shit like that mm-hmm. early. Yeah. But then when it was time for me to like really start working my music, none of that shit mattered because nobody knew who I was. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, Yo, had, um, do you remember what Gorilla Black went to jail for? Yeah, yeah. He um I know I know it was for fraud. Mm. And, um, Credit card scams. What what they had did is they had like a dude that was well, I mean, it, it, it's public knowledge now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what they did is they had like some dude that got like social security guards from like some hotels and shit, and then oh, they was wow. taking like um, they would take like twenty or thirty dollars out of every account and some shit like that. It's like it was like a high end hotel that they had access to all these accounts and shit, and they was pulling the money out and they got caught. You know what I mean? Mm. So, but you know, black, black, black was all right, man. You know what I mean? He he brought me in and, and I got money with black. And we did some Black's a nice guy. Him. When I did business with him, he was always real yeah. cool. It's real cool. Not he always showed me love. That's one thing about him. Like we ended up eventually falling out, but yeah. he always showed me love and shit. You know what I mean? And all we got money from him. Yeah, it just no, at the end of the day, like we just had different views on, on certain things, and we just didn't agree. And it was, you know, that's what it was. You know what I'm yeah, that's fine. That happens. I mean, that happens with business sometimes. You know, you can't always agree on everything. Yeah, so uh, after that, like, I did the independent thing for, like, a few years, maybe four years, and then uh, I, I knew Glasses for a lot of years in between that, so I ended up hooking up with Glasses, and then, uh, you know, he pretty much taught me everything I know as far as how to how to make records. He's a stand-up guy, Glasses Malone. Yeah, that, that's one thing about G is that he taught me how to, like, you know, make records, make songs, make singles. I got a, a, a song that's on the record, I mean, that's on the radio right now in LA called like the West Side. Yeah. It's on 99.1, so, and I was able to achieve that by the stuff that he taught me as far as working mm. records to radio, creating records to radio, so. Do you have a you know, video to the single out right now? Yeah, it's called like the West Side and it features on uh, Jacob Popper. 
Okay, so we're going to link that below in the description yeah. so you guys can check that out. Yeah. And uh, any means is going to be uh, chiming in on the show every once in a while. So make sure you look out for him. Make sure you subscribe to him. We'll link his videos below and go over to his YouTube channel and check him out. He's definitely spitting some bars. You know, it's like it's different than a lot of stuff that's out here right now. He actually has content. Definitely. And he's believable because he's actually living the life, guys. He's out Yo, there. Any means, give him your um, social media. <laughs> um, It's everywhere for like Instagram, Twitter. It's uh, A-N-N-I-M-E-A-N-Z. And yeah. it's pronounced any means. Um, okay. I got a new video out right now. It's called All I Know. It's produced okay. by um, DJ Official. Like, um, that's Joe Moses, producer, and he's done a lot of shit with like RJ. He does like a lot of the bigger dudes out here. So, yeah. Um, he produced that record for me. He got my man Young Hustle on it from Long Beach. He's right here, actually. Okay. So shout out to you, bro. Salute. So, and that's my man. And it means he's official, guys. He's straight from the hood. He's not, he didn't move from, uh, you know, uh, Buffalo, New York, and moved to California. Now he's repping California. He's straight out of Cali from the hood, speaking about his life. Now, and you know that the the thing about the music is, I want everybody to know is that like, I know a lot of people do trap and different sounds, but like my music, we making it. You know, it sounds like California. It sounded it classic like type of West Coast to me, like real authentic yeah. West Coast music, and not following any type of vibe that's out right now. Yeah. You're just doing what you like, and I like that about yeah. it. Yeah. So, you know, I, I, th I think the listeners will be a little intrigued by that because, like, when you hear um, a Any Means song or even a project, like, you're going to get to experience, like, where I'm from, which is Cudahy. So okay. when you're hearing the music, you're living through that, you know, through that city and, and them streets type shit. You feel me? Definitely. Okay, guess Yo, um, so let the people know who are some of your influences, um, like, far as the West Coast artists and stuff like that. As far as West Coast artists, it was, like, Exhibit and Razzcast. Mm. But my um my actual like my real one hundred percent influences was Nas was a prodigy for Mob Deep oh, yeah. mm, was dope. Mob Deep as a collective um man you know what I'm saying Big Noid um, oh yeah okay so you're really into Big that Sad, Lloyd mm. Banks yeah to um, Lou just you know what I'm saying like all that you know all that shit you know what that I'm real saying? authentic Mortal hip hop Technique. shit that that Mortal authentic Technique street hip hop. A lot of people don't give Immortal Technique his props. You know, he's like one of the greatest MCs I ever. Yeah, that's my heard. homie too. Salute to Immortal. So, just like real, real like gangster, like hip hop. I guess you could say. You feel Street me? hip hop, like, yeah. Like you know how motherfuckers like the West Coast gangster shit. Like I really like the East Coast gangster shit. That's what yeah, I'm got saying. you. I'm saying. Okay, well, let's have you back on the show later this week, man, and uh, we'll, we'll get to know more about your story. Hopefully, the listeners check you out, and then we can yeah, get yeah. Some, some more information from you, bro. All right, man. I appreciate it, man. Good looking out. You know, no cool. doubt. Any salute, means, man. salute, man. All right, peace. All right. Peace, homie. Stay tuned. We'll be live. I lost wreck in the uh, transition back and forth between any means and everything. But uh, I just wanted to shout people out in the room. We got Yoski the Great. B Mac was good, man. I see you with that car Instagram thing channel going on. Um, Boston George, David R. Chizgeski, uh, Spooky. Um, what else we got going on here? Yoski to Gray, looking for the truth. T Ray certified, Nike Town, Terrell Rashad, DC Williams, Kaiser Music. Joe J. Simpson, T-Ray, uh, Phil Jackson, Lucci, Ben, I saw you up in here, Eric Sims, DC All Day, King Leons, uh, let's see, Lucci, uh, Dominique, Spooky, Kaiser Music, Joe J. Simpson, Dogman, uh, DC Williams, I'm trying to get all you guys, I appreciate you guys coming in, don't forget guys, we have the blueprint. You want to be on Daily Hip Hop Live? Daily Hip Hop Live at Gmail. You need the blueprint for success. We do commercials. We do music videos. We design websites. I got the blueprint on how to lay out your career. Daily Hip Hop Live at Gmail. Come with the budgets because this is work, okay? We put that work in. We got all the media stuff you need. This is a one-stop shop designing websites. Uh, promotions, uh, 
radio, everything. We do it all. We're connected with Wendy Day. She can assist you with consulting. This is a one-stop shop, guys. We give you the keys to being independent, not relying on getting signed or having an artist co-sign you, building your own thing, ground up. And Daily Hip Hop Live is, we have tons of different stages for you to be on. We have, you know, MREC has Forbes CBD. I have my blog. We have our YouTube channels. We have so many things for you guys. We have Wendy Day's uh, speaking events. So guys, make sure you hit up Daily Hip Hop Live at Gmail, inquire, get, get lock in now because we only have a few spots available. We can't take on too many clients because then we can't give you guys the attention you guys need. Okay, we're gonna take a few clients at a time and we, you know, let you guys be a part of our thing. So, you know, appreciate you guys for tuning in. We appreciate you guys so much. We're nothing without you guys. We're hot out here. We're all hot out here. Daily Hip Hop Live. I'll see you tomorrow. Trying to get Glasses Malone and Styles P confirmed for this week, so we'll have him. Joel Santana, we're waiting for you to come on the show, man. He still hasn't locked in a date. I've spoken to him. Um, who else? Uh, oh, Blue Da Vinci. He should come in this week. You know, it's around Christmas now, so people are running around crazy. You know, Styles P's got the Locks album coming out this week. I think that comes out on Friday. So, you know, there's a lot of things going on. But uh, we appreciate you guys, and we're trying to make the show more and more interesting. And... You know, I'm building out a bigger set here for you guys. I ordered a bunch of stuff to make the show better. So, hey, we appreciate you guys. Things changed 12. I'm going to get that video for you, man. I know you that inspiration. I uh, just wasn't very inspired this weekend. It was a real slow weekend, you know. But, hey, Jay Hood, we could get him on the show too, you know. Uh, but I want to get Styles on here first. And Glasses, he's coming on. I'm just working that out with him, which day works for him. So, appreciate you guys. Make sure you retweet the show. Make sure you hit the, that that bell next to the subscribe button. Uh, you know, help us get this show popping, man. Retweet the show. When we're done, go to my Twitter, Jordan Tower JTF. Retweet the show. You know, get it out there, guys. We need your help. The bigger we are, the bigger we all are. Okay. Chat to you guys. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Tune in tomorrow. <music>